Hi, I'm Tina Maddox and I'm with Tech Republic and I'm here interviewing Colleen Jansen, who is Chief Marketing Officer with ChargePoint. Hi, Colleen, thanks for talking to us today. Hi, Tina, great to be here. Well, tell us a little bit about ChargePoint and how you got started in the EV charging business. Yeah, so ChargePoint does one thing, EV charging, and we charge it all. So could be passenger vehicles or fleet vehicles. We got our start in 2007. We've never pivoted and we offer charging at workplaces, at businesses of all types, as well as home residential charging solutions, and then solutions for fleet operators that could be a city bus, a delivery vehicle, or a shared transit vehicle, like for an Uber or a Lyft. So charging is all we do and we do it all. Right. 2007, that was before anybody else was doing it, right? You know, we got our start early and that was back in the day before you could actually walk into a dealership and buy an electric vehicle. Um, you know, not, not very common, but the founders had a vision that charging should be networked. It should be easy to find stations. You should make sure that stations are operable while when you get there, because the only thing worse than finding a station that was occupied back then was finding one that didn't work. And so, you know, we're a tech company that has designed, developed, built ground up charging station hardware that is connected to a network to make it easy for drivers to find. So they can find stations using their app, they can start a session using their smartwatch. Um, we're just really convicted about making it easy for anyone to get behind the wheel of an EV and drive electric. So we're trying to make the new way of fueling better than the old way by just making it easier. That makes sense. So can any EV charge at a charge point station? That's right. So any, any EV on the road can charge on charge point. So um, that could be, you know, anything from a Chevy Bolt to a Model 3. That sounds good. Um, and tell me a little bit, how many ports, how many stations are there across the U.S.? Are they international? Where can I find them? Yep. ChargePoint operates in North America and Europe. So we are in 16 countries and we have hundreds of thousands of activated ChargePoint ports, but we also roam with other EV charging networks. So you can access other stations uh, that are not ChargePoint stations using one set of ChargePoint credentials. So we're roaming with other networks to make it easy uh, for anyone to get a charge when they need to, whether that's at home or at work, around town, or those occasions when you drive beyond your battery range and need to top up on a road trip. One of the things I think is really cool about EVs, you don't even have to charge all the way. You can stop for eight minutes, 10 minutes. I mean, that's a really cool feature because they're kind of everywhere. That's right. That, and this is the thing that uh, people very quickly figure out once they take delivery of an EV as a consumer is they realize that it's a little bit different fueling in this new paradigm than the traditional way of fueling where we would drive around until the little yellow light comes on, we pull over and make a separate stop. And EVs are different. You typically don't um, drive uh, until your battery is, is drained and then top up. You tend to you know, replace what you use as you use it. So especially with the vehicles on the road today that have hundreds of miles of range, um, what we see is that drivers are plugging in at, you know, a couple times a week to just top up what they've been using. And most of that fueling is not happening as a separate stop or a destination for fueling. Most of the, the top-up behavior is happening where you spend time. So 80% or more of fueling happens where you sleep and where you work because that's where you spend the most time. So just like your cell phone, you're kind of charging while you're doing something else. That's how electric vehicles work. Now, Every once in a while, you drive beyond your battery range and you need to top up quickly or, or you might have forgotten to charge and so you need um, fast charge. We're in that business as well. But the majority of, of charging happens in those pretty traditional routine patterns of home and work. 
And then tell me a little bit about how you do your partnerships with companies that put the charge point ports and stations in place for their customers or in some cases their employees. Yep. So ChargePoint is selling network charging solutions to businesses who already have parking. So that could be a, uh, an apartment building that wants to offer charging to its tenants. Um, so we provide the charging station hardware. Those stations are connected to a network, which makes them easy to find in our mobile app. And we provide everything that the driver needs to find the station, start a charging session, um, see pictures, see tips from other drivers, see availability. Is that charging station occupied? Is it available? What was the last vehicle type that parked there? Are there other tips from drivers? Are there photos of you know, where it's located within the parking lot? Sometimes you'll be in this huge parking structure and you're trying to find what floor is the parking on or the charging on. And so we provide everything to that business owner to make it easy for the driver. So to the end user driver, we show up as ChargePoint, the provider of this network. And to the business owner, we're making all of this simple for them because whether they're a retailer or an office complex, they're not in the business of charging. And so we tend to provide all of that for them um, very simply and quickly. Can you tell me a little bit about the integration that you're doing as well? Sure. So really exciting times in electric mobility because now EV charging is starting to become pervasively distributed in the experiences that consumers use every day. So we are integrated into digital wallets. We have enabled tap to charge functionality. So you can just tap your phone or your smartwatch to the station to initiate a charging se session. No need to fumble around and find an RFID card. We're integrated into personal assistance. So I can ask Alexa, hey Alexa, how many miles has my charge point home station added? Am I, am I still plugged in instead of having to go and you know be in the garage in my bare feet when it's cold uh, to figure out if I, if I plugged in or not? We're integrated into the popular mapping tools, Apple Maps, Google Maps. And we are increasingly integrated into the in-vehicle infotainment systems. So that could be through the vehicle providers themselves, like the My Chevrolet app, or it could be through things like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay that are powering those in-dash experiences for drivers. So they get all the capability of the ChargePoint app right there on their uh, in-dash screen. So what, you're, what you see with all of those integrations is we're really trying to make it seamless and lean into these popular applications that we're all relying on in our day-to-day -day lives anyway, and having fueling integrated into those experiences to make it just that little bit easier to drive electric. Well, all of this is fascinating. So thank you so much, Colleen, for talking to us about it. And if anyone wants to learn more about everything going on with ChargePoint and EV charging, just read my article on Tech Republic. Thanks. Thank you, Tina. I've enjoyed it.